Have you ever wanted to start a Zoom meeting as a dog? Or a fox? A raccoon? Or even a gopher? Thanks to the latest Zoom update, you can now make yourself into any type of animal avatar. And I'm going to show you how. But before I do, it would be great if you could consider subscribing to my YouTube channel where each week I'll be uploading new technology videos aimed to make your life easier and maybe even more fun. So thanks for your consideration. And now let's get started with Zoom avatars. So the first step is to make sure that you have downloaded the newest version of Zoom software. That would be version 5.10. If you're on an earlier version of Zoom, you won't have the option for avatars. But don't worry, it's a free download and really easy to install. So just sign into the Zoom desktop app, click your profile picture, and select check for updates. Now, if you don't have the check updates option from this menu, you're probably using a school or company managed Zoom account. In that case, you'll have to ask your IT department for the latest update. Now, if your screen says this, then you are good to go. But if you see this, just proceed with the latest update. And if you have any issues here, you can even find a direct link in Zoom's download center. I'll leave a link in the description as well. So now that you have version 5.10, let's make ourselves into an animal avatar. After you start your meeting, just click the down arrow next to your camera settings and select choose video filter. From here, choose the option that says avatars. From this menu, you can choose from a number of different animal characters, wearing either a hoodie or a crew neck shirt. Now this is still a new feature, so at this point, you can only select animals and not human avatars, at least not yet, but hopefully that's coming. But once you find an animal avatar that you like, just close the window and you should be all set. Each of the avatars will mimic your facial expressions, your head and your body movement. But the arms on your avatar, well, they just kind of hang there. Now, one thing that kind of threw me for a loop is that sometimes there's a little delay when you switch from one avatar to another. But don't worry because in a couple seconds, it eventually kicks in. To turn off your avatar, just click the arrow again and select turn off avatar. And that's it, there you go. So go ahead and have fun using this brand new feature called Zoom Avatars that's available in the latest update, which would be 5.10. So I hope this video was helpful for you. I'm going to leave you with a few different suggestions for content that you might enjoy. So thank you for watching and have a great day.